Hey buddy, Crow here, and as you may or may not know, I've decided to stop doing the month in review videos, but as such, I still wanted to talk about news or things that kind of pique my interest, and I'll just make a separate video for those. They may not be time relevant or not, <clears throat> but for right now, I want to talk about digital pinball for a minute or so, or however long this video is going to be, because they're, we're kind of in a digital pinball dry spell right now, and just seeing some emails that I've gotten and some uh, Facebook posts and tweets that I've seen kind of will help explain why that is and how long that's going to go on for at least. Um, so I do want to talk about in this video um, Pinball Arcade, uh, Farsight Studios Pinball Arcade, Zen Studios, Pinball FX3, and uh, Magic Pixels Zacharia Pinball and kind of where the state of each of those is right now. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special report. The National Weather Service report. <laughs> Control room, what is going on in it? So first up, I want to talk about Pinball Arcade because I, we, a lot of people have been wondering, hey, are there going to be new Pinball Arcade tables? Uh, they, they might be working on some, you know, people still are having hopes. They really, a lot of people really like Pinball Arcade still. Even though, uh, personally, I feel it's it's been lagging behind, especially since, you know, uh, games like Zachary Pinball and Pinball FX3 have come out. And, um, you know, especially Pinball FX3 with the Williams tables, they feel better to me. But there's still a lot of people out there that think that the Farsight Studio versions of those tables were better. And, you know, I'm not going to be able to argue that. You feel what you feel. But... There are um, <laughs> a lot of people wondering, are they going to come out with new tables? And uh, it's been a long time, it's been well over a year since the last new tables for Pinball Arcade. And um, they really haven't seemed to have touched Pinball Arcade since then, uh, other than with the Toy Shock uh, digital pinball machine, their tables going into there. There hasn't been any news. Well, last week I got a um, Pinball Arcade newsletter. It's Pinball Arcade newsletter number 82. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I wonder if there's some information in Pinball Arcade in there. And you know what? No. <laughs> there's no, if they're not talking about Pinball Arcade in these news, the Pinball Arcade newsletters, I want to say that they're pretty much done with it and they're just trying to coast off of what they have. Um, because this, the main feature of this newsletter, and I'll probably put some screenshots or something like that on the screen, is this Pinball Soccer World that they, they're advertising for mobile. And no, this this isn't any real, like anything based on real pinball machines or anything. It's just this app that they've thrown together. And maybe I'll throw like a little bit of clips of the trailer. I'll definitely put a link to the trailer, uh, which have got, has gotten more downvotes than upvotes, I think, last time I checked. But Pinball Soccer World will be coming to Android and iOS this March. It's just a cartoony pinball game, you know, and I mean, it seems like they're not touching. If they're working on things like this and advertising things like this, and especially the other thing, the second thing they show in this newsletter is the PBA Pro Bowling that game that they've got on Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and uh, Steam. These are the things that they're working on. I don't think they're working on Pinball Arcade because if they were, they'd be putting Pinball Arcade stuff in the Pinball Arcade newsletter. And they're just not doing that. You have to scroll quite a ways down before they even start talking about Pinball Arcade. And they're saying that, oh, they, they're changing the free-to-play tables. So on mobile devices, the free-to-play tables are Star Trek and, and Gladiators, whereas on Steam, it's just Star Trek. It doesn't even say PS4 or Xbox One or Switch or anything. So... <laughs> That, I mean, literally, this whole Pinball Arcade newsletter has this much information about Pinball Arcade. And then um, and then some another little smaller bit about, oh, we're launching, uh, we're going to be launching more frequent tournaments for Pinball Arcade. But no actual Pinball Arcade news. Nothing new coming out. So, um, just kind of wanted to put this out there in a video because a lot of people are saying, any news on Pinball Arcade, any news on Pinball Arcade. No, this is their news on Pinball Arcade. It's practically nothing. In fact, on the left-hand column of this email, they have, they're just advertising Pinball Arcade branded stuff, yet no actual Pinball Arcade real news. So they're, they're um, 
They're advertising hoodies, bags, shirts, phone cases, and a hats, and, and playing cards even, with Pinball Arcade logo all over them. But, no, nothing new for Pinball Arcade. And so, how can you say that it's still relevant. Like they're just keeping it relevant by just having this Pinball Arcade newsletter and not actually talking about anything. And I know a lot of you out there already considered Pinball Arcade to be dead, but I do get comments from time to time from people that are saying, hey, any new Pinball Arcade news? Pinball Arcade was the best. Uh, I'd love to see more. I hate the fact that Zen Studios took away the Bally Williams tables because they were better in Pinball Arcade. So for you guys, Unfortunately, I really don't think there's gonna be any new Pinball Arcade stuff. So with Farsight Studios and Pinball Arcade out of the way, let's talk about Zen Studios and Pinball FX3 because it has been a few months since the last new batch of tables, which was volume five. They had Tales of the Arabian Nights and um, some other tables in there that I can't think of at the moment. But some of you may be thinking, hey, aren't we due for a new, uh, like uh, Williams Pinball table pack from Zen Studios and Pinball FX3 anytime soon. And um, Zen Studios actually made a tweet and a post on Facebook that kind of explained that there's gonna be a further delay. And basically it reads as this, Pinball players, we know that it's been a little bit quiet and you're all anxiously awaiting news about what's next. Sorry to keep you all waiting, but please know we have a lot, of a lot of exciting things in development. You can expect the next set of tables to release in May or June, and this being March, we're maybe about two or three more months away. So we're gonna have a pretty long dry spell of, uh, <laughs> of no new pinball tables in Pinball FX3 as well. I know that's gonna disappoint a lot of you because you're you really enjoy it but um it says uh, we are also working with arcade one up official on some new pinball cool pinball machines so i think that's where a lot of their time and energy is devoted is on these machines instead of um you know actual new tables in pinball fx3 because the last time we had a long dry spell like this i think it was because they were working on star wars pinball for the switch um so no, more on those soon some super secret things are happening behind the scenes and we can't wait to share it all with you. These developments take a little bit of extra time. We have 96 tables available right now and uh, there are community run tournaments all the time. So uh, basically they're saying, hey, we got a lot of stuff out there. Play that stuff while we work on these other bigger things and you'll start to hear more in the future. So they're coming right out and they're actually saying, hey, you know what? We know there's a dry spell right now. But rest assured, we are working on things, which is more than I can say for Fireside Studios with Pinball Arcade, who haven't said a word about Pinball Arcade and haven't done anything with it in over a year. And that leaves us with Magic Pixel's Zacharia Pinball. Now, if you're playing on anything other than Steam, there's nothing. I know you guys on Xbox One and um, Switch have been waiting for updates, and as far as I knew, those updates were supposed to happen a month or so ago, but for some reason they've gotten delayed. I don't know all the news on that. I I was just telling people, all, hey, you know, these updates are coming soon. These updates are coming soon, and they have not come. And I keep asking, what's the deal with these updates? I really don't know what the holdup is. Um, and again, I, I was thinking that this game would be out on PS4 already. Some people kept asking, hey, is this out on PS4? Not yet. So honestly, I wasn't gonna do any more videos on Zachary Pinball until Xbox One, PS4, and Switch were all implemented, or at least one of them got updated because I got tired of people leaving comments in my videos saying, hey, when is the update for Xbox One coming? When is the update for Switch coming? I don't know, I, I don't work for Magic Pixel. But what's kind of more frustrating about that is the fact that Steam is still getting updated, whereas uh, these other platforms are not. Now. I could kind of understand Magic Pixel's positioning on this. The Steam fan base on um, Zachary Pinball is much bigger than it is on Switch and Xbox One, which is why they're more keen to put out updates on, on uh, Steam rather than update Xbox One and Switch, because they're guaranteed to make more money on Steam. I can understand that, um, especially with the Switch. They, they, I, I've heard that the sales on the Switch for Zachary Pinball were very disappointing. And if you look at the Switch eShop, it's not hard to see why. There's just 
a ton of garbage in the Switch eShop and it easily gets buried. You specifically have to be looking for Zachary Pimba on Switch in order to find it. And honestly, if you have a Switch, I would highly recommend checking out. But yeah, I kind of just stopped doing Zachary Pimba because I was like, I'm just going to wait for these updates to come out then I'll put out more videos. That way uh, I could say, hey, this is on all these platforms. But the Steam version keeps getting updated. So here are the updates uh, since I kind of stopped doing Zachary Pinball. Um, there are new deluxe tables. There's a new category for deluxe tables. These are even more modern reimaginings of previous tables. These ones have a, like um, a pseudo video screen in there, which I think is great. That was a suggestion I made. I don't know if they did that because it was my suggestion, but uh, it's good to see that. And you know, more interactivity with the uh, table toys and stuff in these uh, deluxe tables for Zachary Pinball. So the first one was Red Show. The second one was Sinistar. And uh, very recently they had released a spooky uh, table. So Red Show Deluxe, Sinistar Deluxe and Spooky Deluxe. They're all pretty cheap. I think they're pretty much $3 each. I would recommend play. If you're on Steam, rec I recommend these tables. But also there's a new game mode. It's pretty cheap for $1.99, I believe it is. There's the zombie invasion mode. And basically what they've taken is the time machine layout, kind of change it up a bit and basically have a horde of zombies attacking. You get power ups and just fighting the zombies or whatnot. I think those are all the updates for these digital pinball games. Pretty much no updates for a while. Pinball Arcade, pretty much dead in the water because even their Pinball Arcade newsletter doesn't talk about Pinball Arcade. Uh, only interested in selling merch. Uh, Zen Studios with Pinball FX3. Um, you're not going to see any new tables for a couple more months. They're busy working on other things. Um, but hopefully it's the delay is going to be worth it and we're going to see something awesome by uh, May or June. And then Magic Pixel with uh, Zacharia Pinball. Uh, no updates yet on the Xbox One and Switch version. No idea when it's coming out on the PS4. I was told all that stuff was supposed to be happening soon, but that was months ago. So don't know what the holdup is on that, but on uh, PC and Steam, it has been updated. It's been continually been updated. And since they're making more money on that platform, obviously that's where their attention is going to go to. So that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed like an update like this, even though there really wasn't much to update. And maybe I'll do more like this in the future. I'll probably do more like this in the future anyway. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.